If you've been following me for a while, you know how much I love corrector. I never skip using a corrector whenever I do my makeup. You might wonder why I use this, even though I can cover up with a concealer or foundation after. The goal of this video is to answer those questions and I'm going to walk you guys through everything about color correcting. What are the differences between color correcting and using a concealer? How to choose the right color for your skin concern, including redness, dark circles, acne, hyperpigmentation, and all that jazz. First thing first, what is color correcting? It is a makeup technique to neutralize the look of skin discoloration using the right color. If you ever Google color correcting, it is common to see the color wheel. You are going to use the opposite color of the area of skin you want to color correct to neutralize the area. Then what are the differences between color correcting and using a concealer? You might be confused with color correcting with using concealer because it seems like it is going to cover perfectly anyway, but it is actually not. Color correcting is not about covering, it's more about neutralizing the color or changing the color. On the other hand, concealer is for covering. When it comes to the shade of concealer you use, you are going to use the one that matches with your skin tone perfectly. Oftentimes, we tend to cover the area we want to cover with high coverage foundation or concealer and sometimes a lot of amount of them but if you neutralize the area with color correcting it will allow you need less amount of product you use then you can get more natural look with less product yet still covered then which colors are suitable for which skin problems rather than breaking down into each colors i'm going to walk you guys through all skin concerns you might have and what color you should use for that first if you have acne blemishes rosacea and all that redness you should use green color as you can see from the color wheel, green is opposite of red, so using green will neutralize the red. So second concern is dark circles. There are actually many different types of dark circles, so depending on what type you have, you need to use different colors by your unique issue. If you have blue under eye circles, as you can see, the complementary of blue is orange, so you are going to use orange to neutralize. If you have bluish purple or indigo under eye dark circles, you are going to use yellow or yellowish orange to neutralize. If you have purple under eye dark circles, you are going to use yellow. For a brown one, you might want to correct with peach orange or red depending on the depth of the dark circle. For yellow discoloration, you are going to use purple. Even though you might understand this whole color theory 101, you might still confuse that what color of your dark circle is. So the best way is try different colors under each eye and see which one works the best. For example, if you are not sure whether you need to use pink, orange, or peachy color for your dark circles, try pink under one eye and orange under the other to see which one works the best. If they both don't work well, try to mix them both to create peach color and see if it works or not. If you want to cover beer shadow or bruising, which generally are blue in color, you want to use orange as it's opposite to blue on the color wheel. If you are struggle with dullness or any grayish complexions, so first color is yellow. The yellow tones can brighten up darker skin tones and lilac can brighten up lighter skin tones. So depending on the color of your skin, you can use either yellow or lilac or purple. For grayish complexions, red or pink will help you to get that subtle flush on your complexion. So even though you don't use a color corrector, like red or pink cream blush will help you to get that fresh look. So we covered all about how to choose the right color. So now we are going to talk about how to choose the right product. When it comes to choosing the right product, color intensity or richness need to match with the depth of your skin tone. For example, very rich color on someone very fair is going to far more than just correct 
the area. It is going to overcorrect and then the color from color correcting palette will be so vibrant then you might need more coverage to cover the color. But if you have deeper skin tone and you use that like pastel color then you are going to get that grayish result instead of correcting the area. So if you have fair or light skin, you are going to use light or pastel color. It is going to neutralize the area very naturally without leaving that strong pigments on your skin. If you have medium or deep skin tone, you are going to use more vivid or vibrant color compared to the one for fair or light skin tones. Even if you have fair or light skin, you could still have severe discoloration and light or pastel character wouldn't work really well. So at this stage, you could use vivid or vibrant color to neutralize. So now we are moving on to application. How to apply it? First, under eye area is the most sensitive area on your skin. Blend the edges by gently tapping so there is no harsh lines. But only keep the color correcting product only where there is coloration, not over the area. Don't swipe your concealer on afterwards because it will move the color correcting product around. And then you can use foundation or concealer that matches with your skin after. For wider areas such as cheek and forehead, using a flat foundation brush will help you to spread the product widely while getting thinner of the product. Sometimes the corrector looks too visible to apply on wider areas on your face. So in this case, you could mix a corrector with foundation or concealer you use to make it less visible and more natural. You can either use a sponge or fingertips to tap the product and blend the product. For acne, hyperpigmentation, or just any area you need more precise application, spot correcting with either a small brush or fingertips will be helpful to correct. Keep product only where there is discoloration this time as well and don't swipe your foundation or concealer on after. This time it is more about place the product on the top of it rather than buffing around or smudging around. So these are all about color correcting and I hope you guys find this video very helpful. Even though I talk about the art of color correcting and how it works efficiently to cover the like acne or any skin issues, not everyone needs color correcting. You could still cover skin issues with using only concealer or sometimes foundation. I already made a video about how to cover acne hyperpigmentations, acne scars without using foundation and even color correctors. It will be helpful for you to determine whether you need color correcting or not. If you have any like any requests for me to make a video about like specific skin problems and how to cover them with color correcting, I will make a video about them as well. So please leave any video requests about any skin concerns on the comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!